improvisational troupe. And tonight, we're going to start off with something we call the Armando Diaz. And all we need is a one-word suggestion from anyone in the audience. Or any number of words. Any number of words. It's up to you, really. Anything. The bakery. bakery. The bakery. 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 Uh, one of the things I like to do is uh, bake people's cakes on their birthday. Um, that's actually a recent tradition. It just started um, a year ago. Um, so I don't know if I can really call it a tradition if it's just one year old and I've only done it twice. But um, last year I, I baked a cake for my mother's birthday. I baked her a carrot cake. Um, my mother is really uh, young for her age. She's very, she had me really late. Um, so she's getting up there, but she's so, like, way more active and way more youthful than, like, four-year-olds. Like, it's, like, crazy. And my uncle's the same way. Like, he's 70. Um, it's, like, crazy. Like, I really think that, like, that side of my family, or, and also on my, my dad's side, too, on both sides, it's, like, tuck everlasting. And my husband's family is like that as well. Like, his dad's 50, and his dad is, like, so young. So I think that when I have kids, like, they'll never die because like on both sides it's like very strong youth genes so um I might never die and my children might never die so yeah that'll be a really interesting um experiment to see um so yeah and that's what I think about bakeries I am deathly afraid of my oven because it emits extreme heat. So whenever I open it up, it's only to put in a frozen pizza, and that's if the pizza place won't deliver at that hour, because really, it's a really strong desire for food that would make me have to open my oven. Whereas my sister loves baking, and she used to be the cheese baker at Abby's health food store, I don't know if you have been there, but she, worked for somebody, which I'm just going to throw it out there because I'm sure this person won't ever watch this video, but her boss was this crazy lady who was so mean to my sister. My sister is so adorable and so precious and a genius baker. She would come up with all these different baking ideas and she was getting paid less, like minimum wage, but she was the chief baker that gave her a title and she would come up with different gluten-free bakery ideas, which is really awesome. And she would put out her little signs and try to sell them, but her boss was so mean and would just go around and say things like, oh, that Christy girl, I want to fire that Christy girl. How can we find a way of firing her? And it was just this evil old woman that I, I just couldn't believe how mean she was to my precious, precious, adorable, sweet sister. And that's what I think of when I think about bakeries. Um, when I, I used to live in Connecticut until I was 12, and I was lucky enough when I was young to actually know a real bakery. I owned a place called Steve's Bakery, and his name was actually Tom. I guess he decided not to change the name for whatever reason, I don't know why. But, um, so when I was like six or seven, I was able to like go in the back of the bakery and see behind the scenes where they make all everything, like the donuts and the cookies and everything, and I'd get like, you know, a box of cookies to take home. And it was really funny, was that my dad had known this guy his entire life, and he would give the free stuff to me, but he'd make my dad have to pay for it. And I, I never understood that, but anyway, that's what I think of when I think of bakeries. Um, can I uh, talk to you for a, a minute? I, uh, Sarah, I went on the internet and I saw this uh, video yeah. And it's you. Oh, was and that really good? And you're making fun of me. <sighs> I actually, oh it was on your Facebook page and you actually tagged how me. Can you, how can you get on my Facebook page? I made it so that you couldn't get on it. You tagged me in it. it. It comes up on my page. I am just so deeply offended. I, you know, I'm the only one in the storm who cares about you and you're like, Criticizing me on Facebook and calling me a bitch. You know what? The truth is that you're so smug that I tagged you that because I wanted to have this interaction with you. Yeah, yeah. 
but I didn't know how else to broach the subject, so I just figured I'd post it on there, and then you'd ask me, and I could tell you that you are the worst smug roommate that I've ever had, and I can't stand your guts. Hold on, I'm doing a response video. You're gonna do it right here in front of me? Hey, World Wide Web, um, I'm just posting this video about Sarah, who'll never find this, because um, she's such an idiot, she can't use the internet properly. Um, so yeah, so Sarah's like a total bitch and she stuffs her bra. Oh, peace out, internet. I do not stuff my bra. That's it. I'm gonna make a response video about to your oh response my God. video. How do you even know I said that? I'm a genius. Whatever reason. Hey guys, Sarah stuffs her bra. <gasps> They're already saying it. Okay, response video. This is a response video to that smug biatch that she knows who she is, and I'm gonna just prove right now that I do not stuff my bra. See, it's real. So there, stick it. Huh. Response video. <sighs> OMG, you guys, did you just see Sarah's boobs? Number one, I know she was talking about me, which is like totally lame, she's totally lame. Uh, number two, response to her boobs, um, totally flat. Yeah, she should stuff her bra. Peace out, internet. Love ya. I can't, ya. I can't believe this. this. You just, I just, you just tricked me into flashing. I'm never gonna have a job! Oh, other response video. Oh my God. Hey, everybody, this is, um, this is me, Jenny, just doing another response video to Sarah right now. Um, yeah, she showed her boobs, and, um, guess what? She's still a virgin, and guess <gasps> what? Um, at her first job, she totally, like, peed in the boss's coffee. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm saying it. So, yeah, peace out. What are you gonna do? I can't believe this. What are you gonna do? I just put that on the internet. Are you gonna do? Yeah, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna just video you. Video me? Yeah, this is you. Yeah. This is the biatch that is trying to frame me and destroy my life! Uh, response video. Welcome to my world, Officer Jenkins. 
They call me the ghost around your parts. Because I know how to disappear. I don't make people disappear, whether they like it or not. Brenda, another rum and coke. Son, I know you've had your fourth child, and I couldn't be prouder of you. There's something you need to know about me. What is it, Dad? Did you ever wonder why I look like I'm 22 years old still and you don't? I just thought you were in great shape and really took care of yourself. No. In fact, I am an immortal. I will never die. Oh, my. No. I should have told you this so long ago, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait. If you're an immortal, then I'm an immortal. No, it doesn't work like that. I'm sorry. But does it skip a generation? No. You see, when I was your age, it was still legal to buy illicit drugs at Macy's. Okay. And one night I did, and I met this woman, a gypsy. She told me that she could let me let the party last forever. And I thought she was crazy. And then I woke up the next day and felt the best I ever had in my life. And then 10 years went by and I still look the same. And 20 and I met your mother and I wanted to tell you, son. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. Dear Lord, you're 62 years old. Yes, I am. Oh, Dad. Dad. The rest of us will die around you. I know. You. I know. You'll bury us. I know. Yet continue. Well, actually, I've already buried two other wives and 15 other kids. Oh, Dad. I, I know. It's, it's, I had brothers yes. and sisters? Well, yes. Technically, you did. Technically? Half. half I did, yes. Half brothers and sisters. And they, they, I, I'm sorry. Just because they were from other mothers doesn't mean they're half anything. I, I, don't, I don't. We share you, Dad. You do. But not your godforsaken, gypsy woman loving, Macy's drug intoxicating reference. <laughs> and for that, I'll never forgive you. Son. Don't son me. You've got 15 or 16 other children you can call son. Well. It's time you left me and my family alone to die on our own natural time. That's. Sort of why I wanted to talk to you. You see, my other family that I have in Poughkeepsie, New York. You have a family in upstate New York? Well, yes. It, I started about four years ago, and they're, they're still going. Everybody kept asking me, are you part of the Warrens of Poughkeepsie? And I said, I don't know any Warrens of Poughkeepsie. I know. I know. But I want to offer you something, something wonderful. You're my favorite of all of my sons. You're the one who's been the most successful, had the most children, you've made the most money, you've made the most of your life. I have. I want to offer you my immortality. Oh, Dad. Did you take your job to this in the arts? Is that the gypsy woman? Yes. She's, she's immortal herself. That's why she passed it on to me. All she has to do is give you some of her blood. No. No, she doesn't look good for her age. Ah, oh, no, gypsy woman. Now you live forever. Don't you see, son? Now we can be together forever. We can see the future. See the future? Yes. Let you see into the future? No, 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 we can see the future. Oh, You'll live, live long into the future? Yes, no, yes. We can live forever in the future. You will live forever in the future and see the future. Yes. By living forever, but you can't go and see the future. We're not going to project into the future. No, really. To normally travel into the future the way a normal person would, except for it will be long there because you'll never die. Yes, see? It's very straightforward, as you can tell. She's very clear. This gypsy. So in 65 years from now, we will be 65 years into the future, <laughs> but we will not transport her. From right now to then, if we will pass through all of the days linearly. Yes. All right. I realize she's just given me this Macy's gift you evidently took. Does she have to stay with us? Is that part of the deal? And you can stay the closet. Unfortunately, it yes. slowly changes from time to as time. As long as her blood. Oh my God! You're the monster in the closet. Yes. 
You've always been the monster in the closet. Yes.
I know I shouldn't be drinking this extra virgin tonic. This uh, extra virgin Shirley Temple in front of me, dear, but this is how I deal with Can I just have a sit down? No, you can't. Please? You stick, you stick to your alcohol, and I will have my non alcohol. You just drink your drink, little girl. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Mike. It's Mike. <laughs> it's Mike. <laughs> it's Mike. <laughs> He just calls it Joe's because that's who he bought it from. I'm confused. Your little girl is a regular here. Her money is no good here. I keep trying to pay him, but he always refuses. I will not take it. Did you try the monopoly money? Yes. <laughs> I don't recognize funny money, mister. And Only I, greenbacks. And I tried Canadian money, too. I won't take loonies or toonies, either. <laughs> And remember those dollars that I found in the gutter? The, the $22 bills? Yes, the didn't 22 take them either. Oh, oh, oh. Joe is such a hard case, isn't he? <laughs> Mike. No. It's Mike. Dad. So, um, bakeries. Uh, I was going to say something about bakeries. I remembered what I was going to say about bakeries. Uh, I used to uh, live in Singapore, and they have uh, different bakeries there. Like the Chinese bakeries are just very, very different. Um, and it's not the only thing that's different about Singapore. Singapore is a, uh, it's a strange place for an American to live in. Um, and it, it's not just, I mean, like one day I got onto the, the subway, and there were two other Caucasian couples on the subway with me. And they were, you know, like hugging and kind of lovey-dovey, which is really odd behavior in Singapore. Like nobody does that. There is no such thing as PDA in Singapore. Uh, some studies say that it's actually the uh, least likely place for uh, non-marital sex in the world. But um, <laughs> these lovey-dovey couples, Caucasian couples, were on the subway, uh, on the train, the same compartment that I was in. I was like looking around, thinking, does anybody else feel uncomfortable around all these brown people? These, I mean, these white people. These are, this is just weird. I don't understand. Um, so I was really tall in Singapore, and uh, people walk slow there. And it, they just walk slow, and it drove, it drove me crazy. I, I, I moved from New York City to Singapore, and so I went from the fastest walking place I've ever been to to the slowest walking place I've ever been to. And I always wanted to get around people, but they would make these lines and walk in unison and have umbrellas in the sun. And it just it was such a strange environment for me. Um, that I, I eventually had to leave, but I got skinny there. And that's the best thing about Singapore. That's what I think about when I think about bakeries. 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 <laughs> bakeries. Uh, I think of a few things when I think about bakeries. Uh, number one, <clears throat> the bakers that I know, they will claim to be these great bakers, but they do not cook. I don't know if you've ever come across this, but all the bakers I know claim to, they, they love to bake, but they won't cook, which is really weird for me because as far as I'm concerned, it's heated food inside an oven. I really think it's the same thing. It's not. It's different. <laughs> He's one of them. Um, the yeah, thing I'm is, make a cook. <laughs> okay, <laughs> on the opposite side of the spectrum. The thing is, I'm pretty sure it's both. You're both heating up food, so I don't get it. The other thing that I think about is uh, I sell uh, real estate as a day job, and um, I'll sell these houses uh, that have these pristine ovens that have never been used. I mean, these people will literally buy a house. And uh, they'll live in it for 10 years, and they do, they've never turned it on once. And I don't get that either. Not a Hungry Man dinner, not nothing. I don't understand that at all. It's Florida. Well, one, once again, you know, maybe I'm the weird one, but that's what I think about when I think about bakeries. So, you decided to come here, huh? Oh yeah, I can't hear him. Mm -hmm. Nothing's yeah. stopping me. You think you're man enough for this? Oh, yeah, I'm man enough. All right. Uh huh. All right. Show me a gingerbread man. I'm not baking. So what'd you come here for? I came to cook. <laughs> yeah. So what's the difference? What? Are you? You're kidding me right now. You're joking with me. You put hot stuff on a stove. It's nothing different about it. Now make a gingerbread man. I am not gonna bake! I am a world famous chef! Yeah, so make some food. I will gladly make some food. Get this baking crap out of the Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a bakery. You are gonna make some food for me. Wait, I'll make food. 
Not baked goods. Baked goods are food. No, they're not. People ingest them. They love them. Baked goods are dessert. All right? I'm going to cook. Dessert is food. Dessert is not food. Dessert is sugar. Dessert is fat. What's dessert then? Rocks? It's, it's fattening. It's food. You put it in your mouth, you can eat it, and you don't block your lower intestine when you eat it. Do you think ice cream is food? I think ice cream is food. Oh, whatever! Yeah. No, no, we're gonna, we're gonna get some, we're gonna cook. We're, we're, we're absolutely gonna cook. Has the new guy made the gingerbread cookies yet? No. I'm trying to get him to, but he's saying they're not food. It's food. It's baked goods. It's totally food, man. No, we're gonna cook. What is the difference? They're baked goods! It's like pastry. You told me this guy was good. I heard he was good from somebody else. You want wontons? We'll make wontons. You want... Uh, I don't know where you think you are. This isn't the... Cordon Bleu. What kind of place do you think this is anyway? We've got flour, we've got sugar, we've got nutmeg, we've got milk, we've got butter. He spent an entire day buying these ingredients for you. Yeah. Yes, squash. Yeah, we don't have... We don't have... Oh. Uh, don't even. Don't even. You're talking about nutmeg and milk. Of course you gotta have squash. I mean, that's, that's what squash soup is made from. Squash is not a baked good. Oh, I'm so excited. Are the gingerbread and duck cookies done? No. He doesn't bake. Mr. What? Mr. Non bakes a lot here. How much money have we spent on this endeavor? $14,000. $14,000. And 8000 of that was just trying to get this guy. You should be ashamed of yourself. You want $14,000 gingerbread cookies? Yeah. Yeah. We're a quality baked We spent $6,000 in ingredients. We expect something. You should be ashamed of yourself. Around forever doesn't mean they know anything. No, right? By the way, I got my stool 
test you today. It turns out I have worms. Oh my god, I need to get off the subway right now. I don't want to catch old people worms. I'm freaking out. I just want to go home and order my and like put my pizza in my oven so I don't have to cook or bake or anything. Who's a crook? Somebody see him out on it? Nixon! Nixon's a crook! Oh my god, who is Nixon even He's anyways? I don't know that name. I don't get that reference. Who said Jesus? I don't want to hear any religious claptrap. No, oh. no, nah, nah, don't talk like that. Jesus is the Lord and Savior. We, we need to pay our respects. Uh, how much longer? No, I don't have any respects. I wear contacts now. On. Yeah, I'll see, I'll see you later. I, I, I can be down with that. 
Hey, Jay Z is really cool. He's married to Beyonce. Those are two black people you're aware of. They are, and the president, <laughs> I did vote for Obama. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, just to show I'm not racist, I actually like McCain's stances better, but I didn't want anybody to. No, and I know that is confidential, but well, I Well, that, yeah, that's know. the thing. It's a, it is a secret ballot. I would know. So I just, I, I voted for Obama for that very, that very reason, because I, I would know. Oh. Sweetie. Hey. Who are you talking to? Your wife is white? I haven't white. quite, no, yeah, this is my white wife. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie, listen, I bought the Weird hey. Al Yankovic tour. White and nerdy tickets. Oh, great. She even calls Weird Al Yankovic Weird Al Yankovic. That's how white she is. Stop trying to keep T Dog down, okay? I know that you can, you're, you'd be repressing him. What is she talking she about? She took an African American vernacular. Oh, class. two, oh, two semesters. Two 